Hello Sagittarius, welcome to the Manjula Awakening or welcome back if you are an existing subscriber. So guys, I want to check in on the energy for the person that is on your mind. Um, this is going to be for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node, Venus, as well as any of your ninth house placements, guys. So go ahead, um, oof, go ahead and get in the energy of the person in your mind while we tap into their energy. Um... This could, uh, right off the bat, guys, I got the Knight of Wands out. This could be a sa another Sagittarius. This could be a Knight of Wands. Or this could just be, I'm sorry, um, a Scorpio. Or this could just be someone that, you know, kind of definitely fumbled the bag, was is in and out of your life, um, kind of takes things for granted. Yeah, see, I've got, I've got the Fear card that's coming out for the lesson that this person is meant to teach you right now and I have fear I realize that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love so I feel like that this person definitely has commitment issues because I, I, I feel like that this person is in and out or it's like this person doesn't give you a clear identification of where you stand with them and to be honest with you I don't feel like that this person even knows the way to like, honestly, I feel like this person gets distracted. <sighs> but but it's like the distractions that this person in, in, engages in, they're strategic. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, while this person loses more than they intend on, when they get distracted, I do feel like that this person is aware of the fact that they allow distractions to get the best of them. Um, because I do feel like that this person is a commitment issue. Now, the major arcana affecting this connection right now is the lover's card. Um, and from the double majors, there are two versions of the lover's card. In this version, they are clothed, which means that, you know, th that they're they now believe in something like they've lived a little they've experienced life you know what i'm saying ignorance is no longer bliss for them um so i definitely feel like that this is about you know really learning to uh i really do feel like that this person here even in this energy that we're in in this moment, I feel like that this person is kind of missing an opportunity because they are doing more watching because they know that there's this level of maturity in the way that they love that's going to have to change. And we've got the tower here at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, see, like... This this the person on your mind is doing so much watching that I do feel like that they're um, possibly on the verge of missing an opportunity uh, because yeah it's like it's gonna take a lot of courage to come in and ask for forgiveness and you know what I'm saying like this person wants to figure out a way to um, take on and look at the lighter side of the situation and but they. At the end of the day, there is a level of forgiveness that this person is seeking. And it's it's it requires them to tap into the one thing that they fear. And I feel like that they fear commitment. But let's see. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, what is that? We've got the King of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles to the Page of Wands here at the on the ground. Um, the page of wands is what failed. This is three cards. So you, you, if, if I could just be honest with you, I feel like that this is the energy of, I do feel like that the message that's coming in is what I'm hearing. I do feel like that this is coming in. Um, this person is definitely trying to be strategic at how to approach. Um, like this, I feel like that this masculine energy knows that um, y'all know that dog gets on my last nerves, but the children are outside playing. It's Friday night, but anyways, um, 
it's it's like this masculine is trying to be strategic in the way that they send this message out um, because this masculine is where and, and and this doesn't it just means even if this is a feminine energy they're just in their masculine energy trying to figure out how to take action okay so um but it's like am i meeting the queen of pentacles or the queen of swords and because there is an uh, equal toss-up between that um i feel like that this person is, is is the message is going to come off i'm going to say just a tad bit immature is what i'm feeling Y'all know that dog, boy, that dog. Right, that's my baby. All right, Spirit, show me, show me the situation here. Actually, show me where Sagittarius is first. Let's get that. Let's show me where Sagittarius is truly at with this person. Thank you. So we have the Page of Pentacles, the Six of Wands, and the Queen of wands to the page of cups you know if for a small portion there's some Sagittarius when it comes to this situation and I say a small portion because I see how I had a zone in to clear the message up but um uh it's like it's there's this energy of feeling like this is a missed opportunity to, to like like there's been too much that's taken place in order to really have the success that Sag desires you know what I'm saying and I'm not going to say that Sagittarius is in this um revenge energy but I do feel like that Sagittarius is in this energy of at this point I know my worth and it's almost as if like going backwards could be an energy of a fall from grace. But I do feel like the Sagittarius there for the big portion, which is why I saved it for the last. I feel like that there is there is some Sagittarius out there that's really trying to figure out how to manifest the victory, how to come out on top and how to have this. Um, like I, I do. I feel like Sagittarius would like to see this relationship mature, if I'm just being honest with you. And um, yeah. But if if you're trying to manifest a win with this person, Sagittarius, before we even move forward, if you're truly in your heart of hearts trying to manifest a win with this person, Sag, you, this is telling me at the bottom of the deck that there's gonna you're really gonna have to turn your back on any of these um, immature ways of showing up emotionally. There really is. In order to get fulfillment and close out this cycle, you it's going to require... Yeah, see? You're, it's like you're going to have to be able to cut through the, the, the childish response, the immature response, the wounded response. I think I like that better. The wounded response versus the childish or immature. Yeah. So let's look at the situation with this person. What's going on with this person that is in, on Sagittarius's mind, Spirit? Guys, if you're resonating with us at eight minutes in, we would appreciate a thumbs up down below. Uh, so we have the Two of Wands here. And to the Empress. Ooh. So, you know, I do see, like I said, I feel like this person is doing some planning. You know what I'm saying? Um... You know, for I feel like your person is 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 here's this here's the thing. This ain't gonna be for everybody, so just take it. Just just take it if it's yours and leave it if it ain't. Um I, I feel like that this person is is the distractions that this person has, I feel like could be possibly connected to something that is not going as they had expected it. And I, and I feel like that there's, you know, because of that, I feel like, and that's, and that's what this tower is here. Yeah. The sun card behind that. It's like, 
the thought of starting over again. You know what I'm saying? But I do feel like I feel like that this person is aware that there has to be more planning. At least that's the situation around this person. Um, I do feel like that um, this. I do feel like this person is trying to nurture a situation, like a is is trying to plan out how to nurture this connection, a, a connection. Um, but if I could just be honest, I feel like that this person is leaving, or like I, I don't. If they're not in the area where they're leaving that connection. I feel like that they're in the... I was washing dishes, guys. If y'all see my hands, but y'all not worried about that. Um, but it's like... It's uncomfortable energy, to be honest. It's clear to this person that... Where the, the situation that they're currently embroiled in isn't going to plan. You know what I'm saying? It's not going to plan. And so this person is thinking about having to start over you know what i'm saying starting fresh and it's oh, the energy that i'm feeling like it's it's ain't no this you know the wands energy is usually very passionate energy whether high passion like high vibe passion or low vibe passion is still passionate but the energy that i'm feeling from this two of wands is 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 almost like um a sense of like defeat having to face the the consequences for the decisions made in the past you know what i'm saying but still trying to be hopeful that there is a nurturing connection still available especially if there's forgiveness which is why this courage is here and i think yeah this person is eventually going to surrender let's move forward what's the challenge here what's the challenge around this person on sagittarius's mind What's the challenge here for this person on Sagittarius's mind? Oh, it came. And I've seen the judgment wanted to pop over too. Uh, the Ten of Pentacles. You know, there either you and this person are in have some disputes over finances or whatever the case may be or material situations. Um, but most importantly. All right, guys. Sorry about that. Not really. No, I'm not. Anyways, um, so I, 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 this person could, in order to move forward, this person could face some type of financial um, loss or something along the sorts. And, you know, it's not to say that it's your problem. That's not what I'm saying. But what... When we love without condition, that means that we accept the person that we are claiming that we love. And, you know, this is definitely someone that I feel like cares about and possibly even gets distracted about the way that something looks. You know what I'm saying? So in order to like, in order to do and have what this person truly wants this person is gonna have to go against the grain a little you know what i'm saying and i feel like that that does uh intimidate this person because there's something about this person having an acceptance energy you know like i don't know like having some type of expectation to live up to should i say Let's see. So, okay. What's not being seen here, Spirit? What's not being seen? What is Sagittarius not seeing about this person? What does Sagittarius not see about this person? Thank you. The Nine of Pentacles. I mean, the Nine of Cups. To the Nine of Swords. Is that what I think it is? You know what, Sagittarius? I don't care if this person made you feel like um, you wasn't good enough for them. I don't care about none of that. What you're not seeing about this person is that this person... 
I do. I feel like this person worries that if they're if they're good enough for you, and it's like if this person actually lets you know that you are what, like you know what I'm saying, like that's the option. That it's like that you will walk away or find something better, because I feel like that this person fears that if they make this plan, that you that, that you know that, and they take this because I feel like that whatever it is that they're either either leaving behind or they know ultimately they're gonna have to leave it behind yeah i think ultimately they know that they're gonna have to leave something behind here and it's like is sagittarius is sagittarius going to walk away once i put the effort in associated with completion in this sense cn 999 means things in your current situation are coming to an end in order for new opportunities to present themselves absolutely yeah see this person knows that in order to have an opportunity there's something that they're gonna have to walk away from and i just got a a, a notification as well and so i feel like that What's the longevity? You know what I'm saying? Like, what's the longevity here? That's the thing that keeps this person held back. And I don't feel like that that is necessarily Sagittarius' it's fault. If I could just be honest with you with the messages that are coming through. That's us. This person has walked themselves into this mindset by indulging on things that look good. And those things that look good just have not turned out long term for them. And so now it's like they're putting that pressure on Sag. And they're labeling Sag the one thing that does... I've, Honest, if I could just be honest, because I do feel like that Sagittarius wants a win here. You know what I'm saying? Like Sagittarius, I feel like there are emotions here. I do feel like the Sagittarius is very passionate about this situation. However, I feel like that um, I don't feel like Sagittarius is is going to settle for an L whatsoever. So um, I, I feel like that Sagittarius doesn't display. Uh, you know they're not they're, they're definitely keeping their cards close to their chest here and so but and, and but i'm not saying that's a good or a bad thing sagittarius but what i will say is that this person because of those close cards this person does question whether this can go the long term or not which is why you don't see that you are wish fulfillment to this person you're not seeing that i have no idea what my children are doing outside but if we hear a baby coming here crying, we know what it is. It's my little boy. Um, Spirit, what's the advice for Sagittarius as it pertains to this situation? Ooh. So we have the devil card. I'm actually gonna put this back in because but I'm gonna I'm gonna address it here. Um Spirit is saying no take it There's quite a few messages coming in off of that There is a need for You know Sagittarius to Face some demons here You know what I'm saying Within this situation Because this is the advice from the universe As it pertains to this person on your mind There, There is a need to face your demon There are some there, You know this, this, this lover's card for the major arcana that is affecting this connection um it, it does tell me that there are still some immaturities remember i think we even addressed that when we this came out because the page of cups was at the bottom of the deck so it is it, there are some inside issues that are, are causing you to show up emotionally immature so the advice is to really look at this situation and ask yourself those tough questions here Yeah. And really ask yourself, like, 
begin to allow your intuition to speak to you this is the time to be in the receiving energy and 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 i'm gonna go ahead and say that like you know our shadow side is needed you know we need light and dark in order to maneuver this world and so i feel like that this right here is really saying it's really time to nurture your shadow in a more healing way in a in a way that um is supportive to your growth you know what i'm saying because if we don't face our shadow then we can never truly love ourselves and therefore we can't love those around us and it's affecting your manifest manifestation abilities as well that's a lot guys for these cards that are on the table <laughs> Let's see, Spirit, where are we going? Yes, yeah, Sag, let's see. So what is the message of love? What is the message of love here for Sagittarius in the person on their mind? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. Patience, everything will unfold in divine timing. And, and <clears throat> excuse me, at the bottom of the deck, we do have strictly sexual Sag. And so that's telling me that if you try to rush this, and I do feel like that it is going to, you know, there, <sighs> learn a different way to show love than sex, okay? And I feel like that that is one of the things that this person is trying to. Uh, like this person is struggling with that and, and whether Sagittarius is aware of it or not that could be something that is subconsciously something that you deal with as well because I do feel like that you're a very passionate person here but there's other ways to um, you know I feel like that you're shell selling yourself short if you don't uh, Indulge in other ways of showing your passion. Also, Sagittarius, it came through loud and clear. You know, I feel like that somebody tried to make a play situation. Somebody tried. I'm not going to say that the person that they did this with is a hoe. But this is really one of those. Somebody tried to turn a hoe into a housewife. It was, This person may not have been a hoe. But it was just a hoe situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, it was literally just a fling. It was literally just a fling. And it got turned into it, it was forced and tried to turn into something else and i feel like that the the consequence the consequences of that is some type of significant loss here for this person There could be definitely some type of overindulgence around this person as well here. And those overindulgence could have affected their pentacles. We have play. I feel like someone played too hard. <laughs> but I also feel like <laughs> but I also feel like that on the healing note of this. I do feel like that it is time to lighten the energy here. You know what I'm saying? Like. Someone has to stop worrying about what the other people around them that are not included in this situation are going to think about this situation. It really is time to start making a choice from your, like, just do what the, like, what, what does your heart want? What does your heart want? It's time to do that. Because that's what here on the Mandula Awakening, that's what we call doing what the fuck you want to do. It's doing what your heart wants. Okay. Not going out here and being reckless and trying to uh, live up to some type of image. No, when we're doing what the fuck we want to do, it's what my God tells me to do. It's what my heart tells me to do. It's what my intuition tells me to do. Because I want to have fun there. And, you know, there is where I'm able to give birth to new revelations. You know what I'm saying? Concealed power is the name that was at the bottom of the deck, guys. Play and imagination came out. 
My chicken smells good. I'm making some chicken and rice for these babies tonight. It smells delicious. Okay. Archangel Michael, what is the message? It says, open your heart. Yep. No one is perfect. Stop judging yourself and others. And let love heal the situation. But in order to do so, you must prioritize self-care. Um, you do so much for others. It's time for you to experience the love you deserve and let others help you. Here at the um, top of the deck, it's time to be honest with yourself. All your feelings, even the difficult ones, have a message for you. Accept the truth and let Source take it from there. All right, and so, uh, look, have no fear. This is a blessing in disguise. Everything happens for a reason. All right, Sagittarius, I love you. I pray this message offered you some guidance on your journey. If it did, we would appreciate that thumbs up down below. And in all that we say and in all that we do moving forward, guys, let's choose peace. Love and light, Sag.